A local author is using his talent for writing to help lost animals find homes. Gary Allen joins me now along with his special and well-dressed friend to discuss more on how he's fulfilling his passion. Good morning, Gary. How you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you. So who is this dapper dressed dog you brought with you today? <laughs> so this is Cody. Cody is a Cairn Terrier Chihuahua mix. He's two years old. He's an absolute sweetheart and he's currently looking for his forever home. So anybody out there that's looking to add somebody to their family this holiday season, Cody is definitely available. Well, and Gar I mean, Cody is just one example, but one of the examples maybe that inspired you to want to make a difference and doing it by writing. It, take me back. Explain how this whole process came to be. Absolutely. So years ago, I in contact with a group called Lost Angels Animal Rescue based in, here in Tampa. And they've been adopting now for almost 16 years. So currently three of the dogs in my house are Lost Angels <laughs> dogs. Um, so what excited me was I was able to foster a dog for Lost Angels. So I had a puppy for about four months and um, found them a perfect forever home. And what I realized that the adoption fee didn't even scratch what I had put out to take care of that dog to make it perfectly adoptable. Mm -hmm. And so I had a new respect for what Lost Angels and many of the other rescue groups um, do for us. And I said, okay, let me put together a book for these guys and see if we can raise some money. And so I reached out to some of their pet parents and I was inundated with dozens of stories, hundreds of photographs, and um, compiled a book and we are raising money for the group as we speak. And so the book is compiled of stories that people who've rescued dogs, or in a lot of cases they always say the dog rescues the owner. Absolutely, so we get a little bit of feedback on the dog's history, but mostly we get how the pet parents' <laughs> lives have been so enriched and they're so thrilled and so happy. And when I originally put out the, the posting, I was gathering information to tell their stories. And what happened was everybody has a little writer in them. These pet parents came through with these amazing stories told from their perspective with their love, with their humor. And I said, well, I can't do it any better than that. So I really just told their story as they told it to me with a little editing here and there. And have the pictures. Well, let's discuss the book. Because again, I mean, this is the perfect time to give for the holidays. Absolutely. So this would be a great coffee table book. It is. We intentionally printed it in eight by 10. So it's a nice okay. coffee table. There's over 360 color photographs. Um, there's over 40 adoption stories told by the pet parents. And this is volume one. Uh -huh. So again, oh, Los Angeles, yes, Los Angeles Animal, Animal Rescue has been doing this since 2001. So there's many, many more stories to be told. So we're very much looking forward to doing the same thing next year. And don't you think that the people who do rescue and pet owners, we have a passion for our pets. Absolutely. And to be able to explore that in a book and it's going to a good cause, a win-win. It's a win-win all around. So my life has been dogs since uh, 2001 when I adopted my first two dogs. I'm on my second generation of dogs now. I can hopefully I'll have you know two or three more you know wow. in my lifetime. So. I am I am sure, and the way you're fostering as well, that's wonderful. We want to make sure and get across the information though about the book. How can people get the book first? Okay. So the book is available exclusively on Amazon.com. So okay. it's the Dogs of Lost Angels, Volume One. If you'd like to adopt a dog or donate to Lost Angels, you can go to their site, which is LostAngelsAnimalRescue.org. Um, if you'd like to follow me and find out about new events and um, promotions for Lost Angels coming up in 2017, um, you can follow me at GareAllen.com. I was going to say the Lost Angels sound great, great work that you're doing, but most importantly, we got to hook this guy up. We got to yeah. find, got to find Cody a home Cody here. is an absolute sweetheart. And can I just say he really has been this calm the entire time, he not has. just making that up. Now, Annie's dressed for Christmas, so it's perfect time to find <laughs> him a home, right? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Garrett, thank you so much for coming on and talking about this today. Thank we you for having me on. It. Appreciate it.